Yeah, what's going on guys, the Yorkshire Biker here. So yes, we're on another test ride video. Um, and basically today we're gonna to be riding the Super Soco TSX. Love it. Look, just look at the paintwork on it. It's, it's actually pretty cool. Um, the quality, the finish of it is awesome. Now, this is, I'm told, the equivalent of, I believe, a 125cc. Um, it might even be a 50cc, but wh whichever one it is, I'll put on screen so that it's obviously to avoid confusion. Uh, I have test road. The CUX, the Super Soco CUX, that's more of a, a scooter. Um, but this is more of a motorbike type one. Um, it's a bit of a retro thing with the wheels going on and everything like that. But it's got all your usual uh, DRL running lights. Uh, pretty cool front end, to be fair. Really narrow, nice and sleek. So yeah, it's got a, it's another one that's got a, a hub motor. So the motor's in the rear wheel itself which is kind of cool. Um, just a shame that you haven't got the interchangeable batteries and everything. But it's... I mean, I don't know what to say. It's pretty awesome. It's... Uh, just some... If you've not ridden one, you just have a go. It's, <laughs> you'll love it, honestly. So we'll uh, get on and have a ride. And we'll, uh, we'll check it out. Now... I've left the ignition on, but it's got some pretty cool tech, so we'll turn it off, lock it. It's got a keyless ignition, so to get this bike started, it's pretty easy. Uh, all you have to do is unlock it, it'll do that, and then you press the power button. It plays a bit of a tune to you, and you're pretty much ready to go. It's got your usual horn, indicators, uh, your low beam, your high beam. Let's put, my key, put that key in pocket. Uh, that's an obsolete switch. It, basically, the lights are on constantly, so they don't need that one. Uh, this one, again, has got riding modes. It's got three, but instead of being electronic this time, it's just on a button. Um, and with it just being a low-capacity bike, um, I'll just keep it in mode three, the fastest of the three. And then it's got where the, the start switch would be on a normal bike, the start button. This is the kill switch. So you press that, it'll either let you go or not. Now, the side stand is part of the kill switch as well. So now I've flicked it up, it says it's ready. But if I press that, it's gone into park mode. So we'll press that. We'll get moving and we'll, we'll see what we think. Oh. Bit nippy off at line. Hey, hey, hey! Getting used to uh, not having an engine is a little bit weird, but I guess you'd get used to it. So you got uh, whatever that is your distance, your battery percentage, the speed you're going, uh, the current temperature, it's 21 degrees. The time and your riding mode, basically. I'm currently in sport mode. But if we put it in two, that's normal. And then eco. So you've got an eco mode where it'll do 25 miles an hour. Normal mode, speeds up a little bit there. It goes to 28. So yeah, this is it's more of a 50cc, I think, this one. So in mode 2 it goes to 30 mile an hour, 31. If you put it in 3, that's literally beast mode, unlocked. Let's go! 34 miles an hour. Um, it's got, I believe, a 17 inch front and rear wheel. So, feels just like a normal bike. We'll go down here, shall we? Yeah, it feels just a little bit of gravel. Be careful on here. Feels just like a normal bike. Just no noise. <laughs> it's just awesome. 
although it's limited speed wise obviously I'm out in the country so it's, it feels a little bit different but if you're in a city like if you'd commute to in London and back well if you're commuting in London sorry you probably don't even reach 34 mile an hour so it's going to be ample enough <laughs> it's just awesome don't quite know where I'm going from here we'll go left Again, the no engine braking is a little bit weird. But you get used to it, I suppose. If I had to commute to work on the bike, I think I probably would buy something like this. Although I do like the sound of an engine and all the noise and the feeling of it and whatever. I'd rather sacrifice that for the cost of running the bike. Obviously, commuting, it's... I mean, my bike's not the best, but this one, just plug it in. We'll not go too far, we'll, we'll turn it round. Brakes are half decent on it as well, to be fair. <laughs> Whoops. Meow. It's an awesome bit of kit. Oops, still got my indicator on. It's an awesome bit of kit. It's, I like how it's... Uh, Although it's an electric motorbike, it's still shifting. They've given it all the digital clocks and everything, so I like it. I might even leave him with a car and take this home. But again, for a uh, for a small capacity motor, I don't think they're my cup of tea. The smaller capacity ones anyway, but I can see the appeal and I can see where it would and wouldn't work. I kind of like it, but I don't know if I would buy one of this power. Oops, a junction. <laughs> I could ride it all day, but I obviously haven't got time and I don't want to use all the charge up on them, so we'll take it back, shall we? Yeah, it's just weird how... There's, there's no noise, other than the noise of the tyres on the road. I can't even hear the motor. Oh, there's another guy having a go I want. <laughs> so yeah, that's the Super Soco TSX, guys. Uh, I could say, not the most powerful, but for a commuter, it's pretty awesome. So, would I have one? Probably, yeah. If I had to commute, I would have one. So, uh, yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, I will put the link to the uh, English Electric Motor Company. Uh, I'll put all their details below as well, so please do go and check them out. Uh, show them some love. Um, but for today, that's it. So thanks for watching. Ride safe. And until next time, I love you all.